penile cancer still represents a real surgical and oncological challenge. Indeed, although it represents a rare malignancy, it is difficult to gain reliable evidence to improve the management of this disease. In particular, patients with inguinal lymph nodes involvement present a 5-year overall survival between 30 to 50% which unfortunately drops to less than 17% in cases with pelvic or extranodal disease. To date, in this advanced class of patients, both the NCCN and the EAU guidelines recommend AD1 chemotherapy, although its use is still suboptimal. However, no data support the use of AD1 chemotherapy in pathological N1 disease. In this study, we aim to develop and externally validate a risk calculator for the prediction of any cancer recurrence after treatment in penile cancer patients with inguinal lymph node metastasis based on a large multi-institutional database. In both the development and the validation cohorts, we included only patients who underwent surgical resection of the primary penile tumor followed by inguinal lymph node dissection with histological evidence of lymph node disease. The final selections yielded two cohorts of patients with penile cancer whose characteristics are shown in the figure. In the uni and multivariable Cox regression analysis for prediction of any cancer recurrence, across all tested variables, only pathological N3 status, positive surgical margin of the primary lesion and inguinal lymph node metastasis ratio were strongly associated with higher risk of recurrence after treatment. The statistically significant variables were then included in a multivariable Cox regression model for prediction of the 24-month risk of recurrence. The risk calculator-derived tertiles divided the development cohort into patients with low, intermediate, and high risk of recurrence groups. The T-year overall survival rates were lower for patients with high and intermediate risk compared to low-risk patients for both the development and validation cohorts. These results were also confirmed after considering the possible exposure to adjuvant treatment. In the subgroup of patients who did not receive adjuvant therapy, high and intermediate risk patients showed the worst survival outcomes in both the development and validation cohorts. Our risk calculator established and validate the importance of three prognostic factors of penile cancer, namely pathological N3 status, inguinal lymph node metastasis ratio, and surgical margin involvement. Although these factors have previously been found to be associated with an increased risk of cancer recurrence and adverse outcomes, we proved the independent correlation with recurrence and let us to develop an ACE risk certification tool. Moreover, the realization of the risk calculator derived tertiles serves as a practical example of how the race groups can be identified in clinical practice. The results of our study could suggest that intermediate and high-risk patients for recurrence might benefit from AG1 therapies, not exclusively because of their pathological end stage. The present risk calculator may assist physicians upon treatment management of patients with advanced penile cancer and guide future trial design for the selection of candidates for adjuvant treatment.